Hey BrewTubers, it's brew time. Today we're going to be bringing in the spring with an extra pale ale. This extra pale ale only cost me $18.36 to make. It also, we're going to dry hop it at the end. So it should be a really good brew. Let's see how it goes. Here's the ingredients for this brew. First we have seven pounds of American pale malt, one pound of crystal malt 20L, and then we have four ounces of toasted malt. Along with this, we have our clusters, um, hops, that we're gonna use for the boil, and we're also gonna use a half ounce of the Kent Golding for the boil. We, of course, have our yeast starter uh, just brewing away here. And over here we have our Cascade. We're gonna use our Cascade, the dry hop, in the secondary at the end. First, we're gonna get all our grains into the mash tun, then we're gonna add eight and a quarter quarts of water into the mash tun at 145, and that should bring the temperature up between 130 and 135 for our protein rest. Now it's time to add our boiling water. We're gonna add four and one eighth quarts of water to our mash to bring it up to a temperature of between 150 and 155. We're gonna hold that temperature for 45 minutes. Forty-five minutes have pa passed by, and uh, here's a step I usually don't show in my videos. But in the last fifteen minutes, I like to take two cups, okay, of boiling water, and then I add it to my uh, uh, grains. Now, the reason why I do this is because I want to bring the temperature up to about 158 for the last 15, 50 minutes or fifteen minutes to make sure that it fully converts all the sugars. So we're gonna uh, just do this. Put the mash jacket back on and we'll see you in 15 minutes. It's time to commence the sparging. So here's four gallons of sparge water, 170 degrees. Okay, there's, there it goes. And let's turn it on. And we got the liquid going into the brew pot. We have the warp boiling, so I'm going to put in my Kent Golding and Cluster hops now. And we're just going to let this boil for 60 minutes. It's time for our question of the week. I have a high gravity beer that I have um, uh, fermenting. And it seems like every time I do high gravity beers that it just comes down to a certain level and then it really gets slow in the fermentation. And I just wanted to get your guys' advice. How do I, can I, is there any way I can speed this up? Should I uh, shake it a little bit? Or is that not right? Or is there any other way that I can get this uh, up to ferment just a little bit faster? So let me know in the comments below what you think. Our boil is done and now we're on to the chilling phase. Almost there. It's time to start putting the wort into the carboy. All right, we're gonna get our American ale yeast starter, uh, ale yeast two starter into our carboy. Then we're gonna, um, after we get this in there, we are going to uh, let it ferment for two weeks, put it into a secondary uh, fermenter, and then we're going to dry hop it with our, um, our, our Cascade hops. All right, 
So that this one's ready to go. There you have it. Another brew is fermenting in the carboy, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure that you like this video, comment below, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.